Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Carlos Portela. This game was played in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in 1926. Alexander Lehin had white pieces and he started with e4. Carlos Portela played c5, Sicilian defense. And now, b4, wing gambit. C takes on b4. d4. Black to move. Carlos Portela played knight to f6. d5 is the most played move. And then white has a choice. e5 or e takes on d5. In our game, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Defending with the bishop. d6. f4. e5. Knight to f3. And black snatched another pawn. Black is two pawns up. Alehin castled on the king's side, knight to c6, queen to e1, bishop to g4, knight from b to d2, queen to c7, intending to castle the queen's side, bishop to b2, bishop takes knight, knight takes bishop, and Carlos Portela castled queen's side, king to h1. To avoid possible surprise checks along a7 g1 diagonal. d5, intending to get rid of the double pawns. e5, knight to e4, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn. bishop to c5, white to move. How would you continue? Alehin played a3, intending to open the a-file for his rook. Pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, queen to d7, rook to b1. Which king is safer, white king or black king? With the files open, black king is not feeling very safe. That is why Carlos Portela wanted to exchange queens. If queens are exchanged, then black is okay. Alehin played queen to d3, rook to d7, knight to g5, rook to e8, knight to e4, f5, attack in the knight. Very interesting moment of the game. What is the best square for the knight? Hmm? What would you do? Would you play knight to d2 or knight to d6? Alehin played knight to d2. Why not knight to d6? Let's have a look. If knight to d6, then rook takes knight, and after pawn takes rook, black has a winning move. Rook to e3, attacking the queen and giving ultrasound. No, this is not ultrasound. This is x-ray, x-raying the rook on a3. And if instead queen takes on f5, then rook to d7. That is why Alehin played knight to d2. g5, knight to c4, searching for greener pastures. Black to move. Black has a very simple plan. He intends to open the file, g file, to play rook, to g8 and to deliver checkmate on g2. Very deadly plan. So we have pawn takes pawn. White move. This is the most interesting position of the game. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Alehin 
Play the rook takes on a7. Removing the defender of b6 square. So if knight takes rook, knight to b6 check, family fork. And after king to b8, knight takes rook? No, knight takes queen. So Carlos Portela captured the pawn on e5 attacking white queen. How would you continue now? Alehin continued as planned. Knight to b6, check. King to d8. Knight takes queen. Knight takes white queen. Knight to move and to play the obvious. The obvious is... What is the obvious? The obvious is rook to a8. Check. Mate. And let's go back to this most interesting position of the game. This is the position. Did you find the winning move? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And what do you think of this wing gambit? Is it something you would like to try in your own games? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.